In this video, we're going to be looking at substitution. I've written five algebraic expressions on the board. So I've got 3a, which means 3 times a, a squared, which means multiply a by itself. Remember, squaring, multiply by itself. a plus 3, a divided by 3, and a subtract 3. And the value for a is 6, and it wants us to work out all five expressions and what their, what their value is. Okay, so a equals 6. So let's work them out one at a time. So, the first one, 3 times a. Well, this means 3 times a. Well, a is 6, so it means 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So 3a is 18, if a was 6. a squared, well, that means a multiplied by itself. Well, a is 6, so you're going to do 6 multiplied by itself, 6 squared. 6 times 6 is 36. We're going to do a plus 3. Well, that means a is 6, so we're going to do 6 plus 3. Well, 6 plus 3 is 9. We're going to do a divided by 3. Well, a is 6, so we're going to do 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And finally, a subtract 3. a is 6, 6 subtract 3 is 3. Now let's look at an exam question. Okay, so here's the typical exam question. It says, work out the value of the expression 5x plus y if x equals 4 and y equals 3. So, this means 5 times x plus y. So we're going to do 5 times 4 plus 3. So 5 times 4 plus 3. So 5 times x, 5 times 4 is 20. And we're going to add on y, which was 3. So we're going to do 20 plus 3. 20 plus 3 is 23. Okay, we're going to look at another exam question now. It says work out the value of the expression 6a plus 2c if a equals 5 and c equals negative 8. Now they love in, uh, in substitution questions to put in negative numbers. Uh, have a look at adding and subtracting with negative numbers now to have a look and see how to deal with some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in this example. Okay, so this says 6 times a plus 2 times c. Well, 6 times a, well, 6 times 5, 6 times 5 equals 30. And we're going to add on to that 2 times c. Well, 2 times negative 8 equals negative 16. Remember, a positive times a negative is a negative. Watch the video multiplying negative numbers now. So we've done 6 times a, and we've done 2 times c. And we're going to add those together. So we're going to do 30 plus negative 16. Now remember, if you've got a plus and a minus sign right beside each other, you replace it with a single subtract. So this is going to be 30 subtract 16. 30 subtract 16 is 14. So the answer is 14.